can use it as a shot for us. <laughs> this is the season finale. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, and welcome to episode 5 of Eaten with Anna. Uh, today we'll be cooking something from a game called Kingdom Come. In this game, you're in 1408 Bohemia, um, which I guess is what the Czech Republic is today. And while you're wandering around the game, you'll find various camps scattered throughout where you can sit and eat um, out of what, a big pot of what looks like stew. And what that really reminded me of is uh, a few years back, I was at Metal Days, which is like the best metal fest I've ever been to. It's like a week long and it's in this beautiful village in Slovenia and uh, there's like a river you can float down and bars and tons of friendly people and anyways I was a few days into this long ass festival and it was so f***ing over and I couldn't eat at the food trucks anymore so I wandered into the village which was not very far from the campgrounds and I smelled something so delicious and I found it it was this older woman cooking a giant cauldron looking pot over a big flame and uh, I went up to her and I just bought it whatever it was paid like a couple euros for a big bowl of this stew and like half a loaf of bread and it fixed me right up um, and when I looked it up later it's a traditional Slovenian stew made from sauerkraut and sausages it's amazing and it's called Jota so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make that so what you'll need for this recipe, um, first of all, it's really important that you get the right kind of sauerkraut. Um, wine sauerkraut won't work, it's gross, it's sweet. Um, you want to look at the ingredients of the sauerkraut you're buying and see that it just has cabbage and salt. Um, you're going to need, I don't know, just get a jar of it, you're fine, just throw it in. It's just a big part of the stew. Uh, so a jar of real sauerkraut. Uh, you're going to need a couple links of farmer's sausage. You're gonna find it next to the kielbasa in the deli section. Um, anything similar will do. Um, you're gonna need about two small potatoes, one medium yellow onion, uh, some garlic, uh, some bay leaves, and then uh, stock, whatever you like, or you can just use water if you're in a pinch. And a can of white kidney beans. Red kidney beans work fine. And as I found out, beans are the best festival food. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is you're going to fry the sausages and the onions. Uh, you're going to start with the sausages and then fry the onions in the combined fat. Um, you can use whatever fat you want to start frying this. I'm going to use butter because it's delicious, but anything is fine. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fry up the sausage and then on top of that you're going to add the onions. And once, once that's cooked off, you're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Um, you're just going to cook the sausage until some of the fat renders off, which you're going to see. Um, you're going to see a bunch of fat coming out of the sausages, and then you're going to add the onions. You kind of want to get an even layer so that you can get some color on the sausages pretty evenly, but since usually the pot's too big for the burger, you're going to be moving them around anyways. Onions on top here and get them frying up. Once I've flipped the sausages, it's okay if you get a straight potato in there, it's not gonna hurt it. And as with most of these recipes, you're not gonna be moving them around too much because you do want to get the color on the bottom. Okay. 
So once those cooked off for a bit, I'm gonna add your garlic and the rest of your ingredients. Add your big pile of sauerkraut in here. And once you have the sauerkraut, you're gonna scrape the bottom of the pan a bit because the sauerkraut juice will help deglaze the lovely stuff from the onions and the sausages. That already looks so good. You could probably eat it like this, honestly, and just not turn it into a stew. But that, there would be a point to that, this episode or anything. Anyways, let's add the beans. All right, and now you can add your stock, or you can just use water if you prefer, but stock always makes it taste nicer. I'm just using stock cubes. So, looking at about a liter and a half of liquid here, you just barely want to cover all the other ingredients. So once you add your stock cubes, or if you already added your stock, you're just gonna let this simmer until the potatoes are cooked through. Um, you can eat it right then, or you can leave it for a bit longer. So just bring it to a boil and then forget about it for about 40 minutes. Did you just say grace to me? Pretty much. You are my lord and savior. The stew lord. The stew queen? Yeah. I like that. Alright, so... I'm so excited for this. Her apartment smells so good right now. Yeah, it smells yeah. really good in here. I'm not at all hungover today, but I feel like this is still gonna make me feel way better. Oh my god, dude. Mmm. Mmm. So, when you're seasoning this, I didn't add any salt to the full mixture because when you're cooking with sauerkraut, it's already packed in brine. You don't really need more salt, but if you're a salt fiend, just check it at the end. Add some salt if you want. What do you think? It's so good. <laughs> Thanks, Slovenia, for the hangover cure. Oh my god. Yota mm. is legit. Should we thank these people for watching? Yeah, I'm distracted. We're just gonna keep eating this in silence. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Love us, please. We love you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.